Now we have the Pareto chart. It is very famous chart in the statistics. And this chart is based on the Pareto principle where it used the rule of 80-20. And the principle says 80% of the outcomes are generated from 20% of work or efforts. And one way to visual the Pareto chart, we can use two different charts. The first one going to be the bar chart and the second going to be the line charts. So let's see how we can build that in Tableau. First, we're going to start with the dimension subcategory. So drag and drop it to the columns. And then we need our measure. Let's check the sales. So drag and drop the sales to the rows. And now in order to have the Pareto effect, we have to sort the data descending. So first should comes the data with the highest sales and then we go descending to the right sides. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the sales over here and sort it. Perfect. Now we have the bar chart. The next step we want to do is to build the line charts. So in order to do that, we're going to go and get the sum of sales and duplicate it. So hold control and duplicate this field. And with that, we got our two charts. So since the second chart is going to be a line chart, let's go and switch it. So I'm going to switch the sum of sales, the second one. And instead of automatic, we're going to have it as a line. And as well, I'm going to change the color to orange. Perfect. As usual, we have to go and merge those two charts together so let's go to the sum of sales right click on it and dual access and here our chart is broken because the first chart is automatic so let's go to the first one over here and switch it back to pars all right so we are not there yet because we have to work on the line the line should be the percentage of the running total so in order to do that in Tableau, it's really easy. Let's go to the sum of sales over here, right click on it, and let's go and add table calculation. All right, so now we're going to go and configure our table calculations for the second measure. And as I said, here we have to do two things. First, we have to calculate the running total and then we have to apply the percentage. So in order to do that, let's go and change the calculation type to running total. So let's go and select that. And with that, as you can see in the background, we have a running total. But the principle here is based on the percentage of the running total. So we have to go and switch this to a percentage. In order to do that, we're going to click over here and say, add a second calculation. So let's click on that. So with that, we get a primary and secondary calculations. The first one can be executed as a running total. And then on top of that, we want to get the percentage. So let's go and switch it from difference from the secondary to percent of total. Let's click on that. And that's it for the table calculations. Let's go and close it. And with that, we have built our Pareto charts. But let's understand what is going on over here. So now in order to easily read this, I'm going to go to the second one to the line. And let's put the labels on top of it. And of course, the principle says 80-20. That means 20% of those subcategories should cover the 80%. And as you can see, we cannot see that in this business. So if you check our subcategories in this example, you can see it's not 20%. We have around nine subcategories in order to reach the 80%. So in this example, our business does not follow this principle. It's not 80% of the sales are covered by 20% of the subcategories. All right, so this is one method on how to create Pareto chart in Tableau and this is how you can read it. Alright, so now we're going to learn another method on how to create Pareto chart in Tableau. This time we're going to go and use two different measures using only one line. So let's see how we can do that. Now we have the business question and it's ask us, do the 20% of the products mix up 80% of the sales. So now let's go and get the answer from the data. In order to do that, let's get first our first measure. It's going to be the sum of sales. Drag and drop it to the rows. And now let's go and get our second measure. It's going to be the count of products. So in order to do that, let's take, for example, the product name to the columns. And Tableau asks us here, we have a lot of members, so add all members. So now, as you can see, we have a dimension, but we want to count how many products we have inside our data. So right click on it and let's go to the measure and then let's select count distinct. So with that, we got our two measures. One more thing that we need inside the details in order to do the calculations, we need as well the product name to be on the details in order to use it. All right, so I'm going to go over here and switch it to entire view. So let's go to the first measure, right click on it and let's add table calculation. So here again, we have the same stuff. We're going to switch it to a running total and then we're going to go and add a secondary calculation. 
the secondary calculation can be the percent of total and as well let's specify the dimension so let's go and specify the dimension to the product name the same as well for the right side it's going to be the product name all right so with that we got everything ready for the first calculation let's go and close it and now as you can see we have already now the percent of the running total for the products let's do the same stuff for the sales so right click on the sales and then let's go and add table calculation let's go to running total specify the dimension gonna be the product name and let's go and add the secondary calculation it's gonna be the percent of total and then the same stuff we have to go to the specific dimension and specify the product name all right so with that we have prepared everything for the second calculation let's go and close it now we have to go and switch it back to line since we have it as automatic so tableau decide to go with the shapes so let's go and switch it to line and now with that we are almost there we have the running total of both of the measures and we have our line but as you can see the line is little bit jittery and that's because we haven't sorted the data yet it's very important for the Pareto charts that we sort the data like we have done in the method one so now let's go and sort the product name by their sales in order to do that right click over here and go to sort and then we're gonna sort it by the sales so let's switch it to a field and let's go and select the sales from the field name over here convert it so let's make it as a descending perfect now we got exactly the Pareto chart that we need so now we have to check whether it's true that 20 percent of our products make up 80 percent of our sales so now in order to check that quickly and easily in the view we can add the support of the reference lines so let's go and add some reference lines let's go to the analytics over here let's take here a reference line let's drag and drop it first to the first value and now what we can do instead of having the average let's go and switch it to constants and now here we're going to check whether the 20 percent so it's going to be 0.2 and now with that we're going to get a reference line exactly on the 20 percent of the products let's go and close that so with that as you can see we have a very nice line indicates exactly the 20 percent on the products the next step is that we're going to go and add another reference line for the sales so let's take a reference line drag and drop it exactly on top of the sum of sales and now we're going to do the same stuff instead of average let's switch it to a constant and since we need 80 percent it's going to be 0 0.8 so with that we got exactly the 80 percent of the sales so perfect now we have our Pareto chart and we can easily answer these questions from our data so we can say yes 20 percent of our products are covering 80 percent of the sales which is exactly matches the rule of 80 20 the principle of the Pareto all right so this is the two methods on how to create Pareto charts in Tableau and analyze your business